All right. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, all I want you guys to do is go use this to convert from logarithmic to exponential form. We're going to talk a little bit more about logs today. But before we get to that, I just want you guys to remember what log base form going to exponential form looks like. Remember, when we talked about logs, we said we, we came up with the logarithms because we wanted to solve this equation for y. Right? It's easy to take the equation solve for x. You know, you just take b, raise it to the y power. But what if I wanted to solve for y? Well, what we did is we wrote it. That was our exponential form. We wrote it in what we call logarithmic form, which looks like this. Log base b of x equals y. So if I can take the log of base b of x, that's going to equal my exponent y. All right, so this was our logarithmic form. This is our exponential form. So all I'm saying is, hey, I'm giving you something in logarithmic form. I want you to now write it in exponential form. So if I have log of 3 of 243 equals 5, all I want you guys to do is now write it into this format. So notice the bases are the same. So we're going to have base 3 raised. Um, so we have our, what it's equal to is now our exponent. So it's going to be 3 to the fifth power equals 243. So going from logarithmic to exponential form. That's all you guys got to do. Because that was the one thing we talked about. The ba b is the base of your logarithm, and b is your base of your exponent. So when converting from logarithmic to exponential, or exponential to logarithmic, b is what we like to always kind of refer to as the base. That's why I always know 3 um, is my base of my exponent, because it's the base of the logarithm. Okay, And then you just know 243 equals there, and then 5 goes to your exponent. Okay.